Now, that's the live courtroom scene that television viewers around the world are being gripped by at the moment, and the man at the centre of it, the doctor who was treating Michael Jackson at the time of his death, Conrad Murray, has gone on trial in Los Angeles accused of involuntary manslaughter. Prosecutors showed an image of Michael Jackson's dead body as they claimed that Murray gave the pop star powerful drugs to help him sleep but failed to monitor his use of them. Jackson died in June 2009 from an overdose. And a warning, this report by our Washington correspondent, Matt Fry, does contain that image of Jackson, and there is also, for those affected by it, some flash photography. Fame, money, and a doctor possibly on the edge of prison. Trials expected to last up to five weeks. Quite a scene out here, that's for sure. Our full panel of experts will be here to walk you through the trial. America's economy may be heading for the cliff, so what better distraction than a trial on cable television? Show. The king of pop is dead, long live the king, and his entourage, family members, and of course the fans that just won't go away. In death as in life, Michael Jackson attracts cameras and controversy. More than two years after dying from an overdose, his private doctor, the one behind the tinted glass, faces charges of involuntary manslaughter in a very public trial laced with conspiracy theories. I know that uh, Michael Jackson was uh, definitely murdered. I believe this man was a hitman hired to uh, get rid of Michael. The accused, Dr. Conrad Murray, according to the prosecution, a greedy and incompetent medic, reckless in his use of propofol, a drug almost as powerful as a hospital anesthetic. They say that the man who Jackson trusted with his health and paid lavishly for it failed him with tragic consequences. When Michael Jackson is dead, in court, shown to the jury and the world for the first time. These pictures of the singer, alive one day, dead the next. Conrad Murray figuratively and literally abandoned Michael Jackson on June 25th, 2009. He left this vulnerable man filled with Valium and Midazolam and Lorazepam and Propofol with no medical monitoring equipment, no necessary resuscitative equipment. He left him there, abandoned him to fend for himself. To bolster the case that the doctor had drugged the singer over time, this recording made on Murray's iPhone of Jackson's voice a month before he died. When people believe it's true, when people believe my show, when I, I want to say, I've never seen anything like this in my life. This is it. I mean, this is really it. Jackson's press conference in London three months before he died, announcing the tour that was called, ironically, This Is It. Such was the pressure on the singer to reboot his failing career and take to the stage that he was driven to a drug that he himself described as his milk. Murray's defense will claim that he was trying to wean the star off that milk and that the lethal dose was taken by Michael Jackson himself. So, cruelly exploited victim or frail weirdo at breaking point. The judge wants this trial to be about forensics and science. The cult of Jackson wants it to be about the untimely demise of a legend.